Give him praise. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe. Yeah, we praise you. We praise you, our God. We praise you, our King. We praise you, our Deliverer. We praise you, the Lord God mighty in battle. We praise you, Jehovah Jireh. We give you the glory. We magnify your holy name. We lift your name on high. Higher than every other name. Hallelujah. Worship him who sits on the throne. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Say a better amen. Glory to God. Can we give the Lord a clap of fire for the worship team? They are doing a great job. May the Lord continue to bless them in Jesus' name. God bless you so much. We can take our seats. Hallelujah. What a wonderful, what a glorious Sunday. In the name of Jesus, you cannot afford to live the same way you came in. In Jesus' name. Allow God to do something great in your life today because His presence is together with us. Bona sifuwe sana. Ningependa kuchukua nafasi kukaribisha all our visitors ambao wako hapa na pia wale ambao wanatusikiza kwa mitandao na kwa runinga. Let us know where you are watching from. We thank God for the church there in the diaspora. May God bless you so much. I believe you are connected with the presence of God May you receive your portion in Jesus' name. I would like to acknowledge the guests who are together with us. Uh, I would like to do that in general. Then maybe we are going to give a few of them. We have so many special guests today. And it is a blessing. Praise the name of the living God. So, ningependa nitambue wageni wote kwa jumla. Waweze kusimama tafadhari. Wageni wetu wote ambao wame tutembere ya siku ya leo. Nitaomba tu wasimame. And God will bless you. Just rise up on your feet, all the visitors, wherever you are. There are many. Glory to God. Glory to God. Can we give the Lord a better clap offering of praise because of our visitors? A warm welcome in Jesus' name. We love you, and Jesus loves you too. I see many of my friends here, bishops, pastors who have come. We have so many gospel ministers today. And uh, this is what we are going to do. All our visitors can sit down. Tutapatia wagea ni katha waweze kutusarimia. Na ningependa kuanza na unajua as a church tunaheshimu huduma ambayo inafanywa na worship ministers because we know that the revival that is coming worship is going to be very instrumental praise the name of the living God and so we have a quite a number of our uh, uh, brothers and sisters ambao mungu wa mewainua katika eneo hilo na nitawawuliza tu kwa heshima waje hapa waweze kutusalimia na mungu wa tawabariki we have Christina Shusho all the way from Tanzania Tukona Shilo wa GP together with her husband. Tukona Bete Bayo. Tukona Ore Kaputa Tajeu. Tajeu. Wacha wata wakuje. We love you. And we thank God for the great work you are doing in Jesus' name. Karibu ni sana. Naitwa Christina Shusho MBCI Tanzania. Bwana asifiwe. God is good. I know the time. Naitwa Shirwa GP na nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naitwa Betty Bayo na nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. 
naitwa Charity Tajeu nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu Bwana sifiwe majina ni Ole Kaputa natoka Narok Mungu awabariki Amen tunasema Mungu awabariki sana asanteni si tutawaita siku moja hapa tukiwa na worship night Wangapi wanasema tumewakaribisha katika jina la Yesu Kristo Amen. God bless you. Thank you for coming to worship together with us today. Pia tuko na watumishi wa Mungu kadhaa uh, ambao sijui kama nitaweza lakini wanaweza kuja tu. I will request all the bishops and the uh, pastors who are together with us. Uh, waweze tukuja hapa. It's a blessing to have all of you here. We also have a guest all the way from Egypt. Pastor Moses those who miss the kesha pastor moses minister to us power free in the kesha we are professor njogona all the way from nyeri please come let's have all the servants of god who are here just come and tell us your name and uh, where you are ministering from karibu sana pastor moses praise god i'm blessed to be with you here this morning i'm pastor moses a missionary in egypt for 17 years but I'm from Uganda. And uh, God sent me to your country. I love this nation. I've been praying for this nation. And God loves you so much as a nation. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I am excited to be in this house today. I, I am from Kajiado County. MBCI part of uh, Kajiado and I'm excited very much to be hosted by the man of God and the woman of God this in this house and all of you I feel good you are blessed and I feel the presence of the Lord is mightily here my name is Bishop Fred Kariuki and I love you all in Jesus name praise the Lord my name is Pastor Adam. I'm born again. I'm from Nakuru. May the Lord bless you. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Majina yangu nami naitwa Bishop Julius Kitau. Nimetoka huko Meru. Kwa mwisho mali kunaitwa Maua. Tumekuja kule Heaven's Gate kuomba. Bwana abariki sana. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. My name is uh, Professor Patrick Njuguna. 15 years ago, uh, the pastor of this church, when you had only a small church, prophesied to me, and he told me to adopt a nation. And uh, that word has been with me, and I've been adopting nations. Last uh, year, we had a conference of educators, and we had 30 nations together with us. And this year, because we are still adapting nations and we believe that the revival that is coming is not coming to the ignorance, it's coming to people of knowledge. Although he has said that the revival is coming through the worshippers, it's also coming through the people of knowledge. And we are educating, and this is our motto, bringing theological education to every doorstep. You should not be left. Thank you so much. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm Reverend Evans Chekwony. I'm also a professor working with Professor Patrick from Nakuru. Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm Reverend Robert Mnoru from Maua. I'm saved, marching to heaven by faith. I've been desirous to come and worship with you. I've been around from Made and I'm really blessed. God bless you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, Reverend Regina Kasongo, na udumu na Domino Chapel Ministry, chini ya Bishop Mangura from Kajiado. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God, Shash. I'm Pastor Luce Wagoi from Nyeri County, MBCI. Bwana atukusi. Bwana asifiwe. Pastor James Mbugwa Kitau, Dominion Chapel Kiserian. God bless you. 
Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Naitwa Pastor Francis Kahura na hudumu na Domino Chapel Ministries chini ya Bishop Mangura. Tumekuja maombi pale milimani. God bless. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Mimi ni Dorka Somsula. Nimetoka Butere, Kakamega County. Nimekuja, nilikuwa nimekuja milimani from December tarehe up to now sasa nimemaliza maombi yangu nimeona nikuje mahali hapa tuweze kushiriki pamoja niweze kuenda nyumbani nikirudi mahali pale najua kwamba najua narudi pale na nguvu za Bwana na kanisa ni gospel worship ministry mbarikiwe praise the lord bwana yesu sifiwe my name is pastor morris i come from nairobi a church called Jesus Living Fountain Ministries. God bless you. Bwana asifiwe. Na mimi naitwa Jane Gitao. Na nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Tumekuja pale mlimani. Leo tukasema tukuje tuatembele. Bwana wabariki. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Kwa maana jina naitwa Pastor Abraham Kome. Na undumu muji wa kisi na kanisa la neno evangelism center nina kiangalia hivi tu na mshukuru bwana nilitamani siku moja nikuje nisimame hapa niona kile bwana ametenda i appreciate what the lord has done it is god's doing haleluya mbarikiwe sana bwana sifiwe kwa majina yetwa pastor cornelius sorobi kutoka nyamira kisi nafanya na kanisa la Pentecost Assembly of God. Bwana asifiwe. Naitwa Pastor Jared Nyaberi kutoka kule Nyamira Kisi. Nimetokea kule Heaven's Gate. Amen. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa wageni wetu wote. Thank you for your love for this ministry. I know quite a big number ya wale wametembelea pia wamekuwa pale Heaven's Gate Prayer Mountain and we thank God for what God is doing in Heaven's Gate. We also thank God for Paul Pastor Moses and the message he delivered to us and um, even for our nation. I think personally I've received the message and we are going to do everything possible. Praise the name of the living God to secure our nation through intercession. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na Siku ya leo ningependa kuleta neno la Bwana kwenu. We are in a season of prayer. It happens across the, the, the whole world that Christians in the beginning of the year they take time to pray and to fast. Now I say it on Sunday that January is a gateway month and so if you are able to find your breakthrough in January it means you can be able to partake of the blessings that God has prepared you for the whole year. Na kwa hivyo January ni wakati ambapo hatusukumi watu maombi. Kila mtu anafaa kusekiwa mwaka. Ajitoe kwa Bwana, a make sure amesekiwa mwaka kwa ushindi wa Bwana. Na kwa hivyo siku ya leo ningependa kufundisha juu ya maombi kwa sababu as much as prayer is so obvious that people pray even across other religions hatungependa kutekia kwamba for granted ya kwamba kila mtu anajua vile anapaswa kuomba. Na hii tunaichukua from the book of Matthew chapter 6 and um, uh, from verse 9 wakati wanafunzi wa Yesu walipoenda kwa Yesu wakamwambia aweze kuwafundisha kuomba. Walikuwa wamekaa na Yesu. Ah, uh, can, can you go back to verse 8 Matthew 6 from verse 8 the Bible says uh, Uh, do not like uh, uh, do not be like them for your father knows what you need before you ask him and uh, verse 9 the bible says uh, uh, this is then how you should pray our father who is in heaven hallowed be your name and then your kingdom come you will be your will be done on earth as it is in heaven Uh, give us today our daily bread and uh, the bible continue forgive us our debts as we also forgiven our debtors and then and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil from the evil one for 
if you forgive men when they sin against you, you have any father will also forgive you. Okay. Um, yes, walikuwa nasema ya kwamba when you go before the father, you should not do a lot of bumbling. Yaani ni kama unaongea tu na haujui kile ambacho unacho nena bere za Bwana. Yesu akawafundisha wanafunzi wake a systematic way of praying. Na hilo ombi ambalo Yesu amefundisha pale it is a model prayer ambayo iko na maombi tofauti. Na kwa hivyo siku ya leo ningependa kufundisha juu ya nine types of prayer and nine ways of making them effective. I hope we will be able to move together very fast because I would like to cover those almost 18 points nine types of prayer and then nine ways that you can be able to make those prayers effective. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18 the bible says there are different kinds of prayer. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18 the bible says and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests that means there are different kinds and that is why I'm, i've said uh, we are going to study on different kinds or types of prayer and the bible says with this in mind and be alert and always keep on praying for all uh, the saints praise the name of the living god so there are different types of prayer na ni vizuri kutofautisha hayo maombi ili unapoomba unajua niombi gani unaloliomba yesterday jioni wakati nilikuwa na meditate on this message uh, my mom hakujua lakini muuliza ile chakula ulikuwa unatupikia zamani ilikuwa inaitwa goja goto ilikuwa ni nini na nini inachanganywa praise the name of the living god do you remember that kind of food whereby you, you, you are not eating ugari and cabbage everything was mixed praise the name of the living god adwa goja goto moe kuo ha na hiyo chakula tulikuwa tunakula wakati wa shida unauma pande moja unasikia hiyo ni unga kuna viazi ndani sijui kuna nini vitu zote zimechanganywa siku ya leo nataka kukudeliver uache kuomba goja goto players because kuna watu wakienda mbele za Mungu maombi yote inachanganyikana wamechanganya mpaka Mungu malaika wanasema haha ni goja goto yani maombi vile imechanganywa Praise the name of the living God. Because the Bible says, yes, we pray with all kinds of prayer, but it's good for you to be able to separate and to know that as I go before God, this is a kind of prayer that I'm making before God. Or this is a type of prayer that I am making. And so we are going to see nine types of prayer and nine ways of making them effective. Because prayer is not just prayer. There, are, there is somebody who can make one type of prayer and another one makes the same type of prayer but one person gets more result than the other why because there is a way you can make your prayer effective praise the name of the living god and so let us go through the nine, nine types of prayer number one prayer is a prayer of repentance when we go before the lord with a prayer of repentance we acknowledge our moral weakness Paul said one thing i do i press on to get hold of that which christ jesus have gotten hold for me not that i have been made perfect we should understand that repentance prayer is not just for the prostitutes and the drunkards it is for believers who have a desire to continue with the process of sanctification ni watu wanaotambua ya kwamba nahitaji niendelee na ile uh, uh, kuendelea kutakaswa na Bwana. But if you read in the book of Isaiah chapter 59 from verse 1, the Bible tells us that our sin can be a hindrance to our prayer. Surely the arm of the Lord is not too short to save, nor his ear too dull to hear. But your iniquities have separated you from your God. 
your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. So when we make repentance prayer, we are making repentance prayer so that God can hear our prayer. And let me tell you, one of the greatest privileges that we have as a New Testament church is the privilege of prayer. Praise the name of the living God. Because the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4 and verse 16, that we can be able to approach the throne of grace. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16, the Bible says, let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Why do we approach the throne of grace with confidence? Because the Bible says uh, when Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, the curtain of the temple was torn into two. Many of you should be aware without going into details that the way we pray today is not the way the Old Testament church was praying. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. For us, we have been given direct access to the Father. But the Old Testament church, it is a high priest who could only go into the Holy of Holies and once in a year. That means they were remitted. But the New Testament church, when Jesus died by his blood, because the blood of sheep and cows could not give them the, that righteous position for them to be able to stand before the throne of grace. But now Jesus has been made our righteousness. Damu yake alipo itoa msarabani. Inatupatia ujasiri. Kwa hivyo, a New Testament believer ambaye haombi anapoteza a great privilege ambayo amepatiwa na kazi ya msaraba. Kwa sababu a New Testament believer sasa anaweza enda bere ya kiti cha neema na akaongea na Mungu lakini katika agano la kale hawakuwa na hiyo privilege jina la bwana ipewe sifa kwa hivyo kumaanisha kwamba the prayer of repentance is important when we tell god forgive us our sins so that our prayers will not be hindered by what we have done na kwa hivyo ni vizuri kujua kwamba ninapoomba there are times I'm going before the Lord because I desire that he may forgive me that which I have committed before him. Praise the name of the living God. And the Bible says if we say we don't have any sin, then we make him to be a liar. Ni vizuri kujua kwamba we are morally weak. Na kwa hivyo tunaweza kosa kufikia kiwango cha utakatifu wa mungu. Na kwa hivyo tunapoendelea kukiri dhambi zetu, Bibi inasema ya kwamba tunaendelea kusafishwa. Tunaendelea kutakasika ili tukaweze kufikia kile kimo cha Yesu Kristo. Repentance should not be done once in a lifetime. Praise the name of the living God. Isaiah alikuwa mtumishi wa Mungu, lakini Bibi inasema kwamba Uzia alipokufa, alienda bere za Bwana akasema, "Woi, nimekwisha kwa sababu gani? Ulimi wangu." Mtie yote ambaye dhamiri yake iko hai anapaswa kuelewa wakati ama mambo yale ametenda hayajamfurahisha bere za Bwana na anapoenda bere za Bwana asiwe mnafiki aweze kuyakili ili aweze kusamehewa praise the name of the living god na pia repentance can be offered if you read in the book of Nehemiah chapter 1 uh, from verse 4 we can re make repentance on behalf of our families. We can make repentance on behalf of our nation. The Bible says, uh, When I had these things, I sat down and wept uh, for some days. Uh, I mourned and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. Then I said, O oh Lord, the God of heaven, the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and obey his commands. Let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer. Your servant is praying before you. 
day and night for your servants, the people of Israel. I confess the sins we Israelites, including myself and my father's house, have committed against you. That means you can go before the Lord and offer repentance on your behalf, on behalf of your family, on behalf of your nation. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Unawezaenda kumuambia buwana, nimekuja kwa sababu nimeona machukizo ambayo anafanyika kwa jamii yangu, kwa taifa rangu, kwa muji wangu. Unaenda bereza buwana, unafanya ombi ratoba. Now the prayer of repentance is very, very important. Those people who pray the prayer of repentance, they build a hedge. The Bible says about the book of Job. And Job, the Bible says uh, that he offered the sacrifice of repentance before God. Even because of his children. Wakiwa na karamu. Angesema pengine walimlani mungu. Wakati walikuwa na sherekea. Na hiyo kutubu hata kwa ajili ya watoto wake. Kurifanya kuwe na hedge or protection. It is, kuna mapepo unaweza shinda ukikemea. Ya natoka jioni ya narudi. Kwa sababu mahali napitia, the Bible says, uh, if you break the wall, the snake will bite you. Na kwa hivyo kama kuna broken walls in our lives, uh, in our families, uh, razima hizo walls uh, kusimame mtu na aweze kuzirebuild. And the way we we'll build the walls is through repentance. So kuna mapepo unaweza pigana nayo. Mpaka wa, because iko na ligarete imekuja pale kwa sababu kuna mrango ilifunguliwa officially na kwa sababu haujawahi kukiri hiyo dhambi hakuna mtu ameshawahi kutubu basi hiyo mapepo unapigana naye bule inakwambia unatufukuza namna gani and we are here legally kwa sababu hakuna wakati umechukua dhambi ile na kuitubu you destroy the legality of the enemy praise the name of the living god May God give you the grace to offer the prayer of repentance on your behalf, on behalf of your family, even on behalf of the church. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Na ili shetani asipate nafasi katikati yetu. Kutubu kwa sababu ya taifa. Na ili shetani asipate nafasi katika taifa retu. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. The second prayer we can pray is the prayer of thanksgiving. We thank God because of what he has done for us. And the prayer of thanksgiving is very very important because it is thanksgiving that oils the wheels of prayer. The Bible says we should make our supplication with thanksgiving. Yaani shukurani ni kama ni kama spice ambayo unaweka kwa maombi unapochanganya maombi yako because uh, kila wakati unapoenda kuitisha Mungu vitu Mungu atawezaona kama ni fujo unakuja kutoa kila wakati lakini unapokuja ukisema ni asante wakati yule mwenye ukoma moja alienda bere ya Yesu kushukuru Yesu aliuliza si walikuwa kumi wengine tisa wako wapi Mungu utarajia utatambua yale amefanya na utaenda bere zake kusema ni asante Bwana asifiwe sana usiwe kama lecho ambaye aliomba mtoto akamuita Joseph na Joseph inamaanisha add me another son and the bible says in genesis 35 verse 16 alipokuwa anazaa mtoto mwingine wakielekea Ephrath alishikwa na uchungu akazaa mtoto lakini akafa kwa sababu bibi inasema wale wanao ni sahau naweza kuwararua kusiwe na mtu wa kuwaponya. The Bible says do not forget the Lord your God who gives you power to make wealth. Kuna watu Mungu huwa anawainua, anawabariki. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini wanasahau. When you thank God, you are giving glory to God because of what he has done for you. Praise the name of the living God. When your gratitude stops, you are going to be grounded. Some people have stagnated in life because they stopped to give thanks to God. 
because ule mwenye ukoma moja wakati alishukuru alifanywa muujiza mwingine there is perfection in thanksgiving haushukuru kwa sababu mambo yote ni mazuri unashukuru kwa sababu kuna yale amefanya and he has begun a good work so acknowledge what he has done praise the name of the living god may god fill our hearts with thanksgiving uh, in the name of jesus uh, Psalms 104 Psalms 100 and verse 4 I'll enter his gate with thanksgiving praise the name of the living god hallelujah david david was a man after god's own heart and he knew the only way the best way to go before god is through a heart that is full of thanksgiving praise the name of the living god then there is a, a prayer of worship and adoration adoration prayer and worship is because of who god is when you go before the lord and magnify him it is not just because of what he has done so we cannot stop at thanksgiving the bible says in the book of acts chapter 13 and verse 2 that the disciples were ministering unto the lord while they were worshiping the lord and fasting the lord said set apart for me barnabas and saul for the work to which i have called them to do we must be wise to know which prayer we are supposed to use because the bible says they were only worshiping the lord and fasting yeah? and the holy spirit said set apart for me barnabas and saul saul for the work to which i have called them and then verse 3 the bible says So after they fasted and prayed they placed their hands on them and sent them off. So after that they made another prayer of uh setting them apart and laying their hands on them. So the first prayer and fasting was a time of worshiping and ministering to the Lord. When we are worshiping and uh, uh ministering to the Lord in adoration We remove our eyes on the problem and we fix our eyes on God. And when you fix your eyes on God, your problem becomes smaller. Praise the name of the living God. Many times when we are praying, our eyes are fixed on the problem. But when we come before the Lord in adoration prayer, we are fixing our eyes on him. And when we see how great He is our faith is lifted praise the name of the living god and our problem becomes smaller praise the name of the living god there are so many psalms that you can see that gives us a prayer of praise and adoration na kuna wakati utaenda mbele za bwana na usikie ile maombi inabubuchika ni maombi ya kumtukuza na kumwabudu bwana kumwambia wewe ni mkuu dire dona gai yogetawe gotiri uneneta waku gai and you can spend an hour you can spend two hours with that prayer of praise and adoration you could be sick in your body praise the name of the living god but the prayer of praise and adoration is not just about what god has done but it is because of who he is praise the name of the living god hallelujah na watu wale ambao wanajua maombi ya adoration maombi ya worshiping the lord bwana apewe sifa watu hao wanaweza pata divine visitation bibi nasema when they were worshiping and fasting the lord visited them and even he spoke praise the name of the living god hallelujah maombi ambayo unaenda mbele za bwana kumuinua kumwabudu kumtukuza na kuna wakati utasikia roho wa Mungu wako juu yako sio kuitisha vitu hapana kumwambia juu ya vile alivyo mkuu praise the name of the living god the other prayer we are in number okay we have good students the other prayer is the prayer of supplication the prayer of supplication or making your petition the prayer of supplication or petition is when you make your request to be known to god There is no problem when you go before the Lord and you tell him your needs. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 
and verse 6. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 is when you go before the Lord and tell him. The Bible says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Hiri ombila supplication limetajwa mara nyingi kwa Biblia na kila wakati limetajwa linaongea juu ya watu walioenda mbele za Bwana kumwambia mahitaji yao The Bible says do not be anxious badala ya kusumbuka na kuwa na wasiwasi haujui itatokea nini katika maisha yako Bibi nasema ya kwamba enda bere za Bwana mwambie hoja zako mwambie ni nini hiyo inayokutatiza katika maisha yako praise the name of the living god na kwa hivyo ninaomba ya kwamba may god give us the grace badala ya kubeba mizigo mizito badala ya kuwa na wasiwasi tunaweza enda kumwambia bwana this is my heart desire lord bwana pewe sifa but uh, Every time you are making a prayer of supplication you must be willing to accept God's will. Kila wakati unapomwambia Bwana yale unayotaka afanye lazima ndani yako kuwe na hiyo willingness ya mapenzi ya Bwana. We declare the freedom of that sister in the name of Jesus and we scatter every work of the enemy over her life. In the name of Jesus, uh, I declare this is a holy ground uh, for the habitation of the Spirit of God. God is at work in this place, uh, and so we declare in Jesus' name.